Several recent images published on social media have revealed Iran's latest advancement in anti-tank missile technology, the ALMAS-4 NLOS, non-line-of-sight missile. This new system represents the most extended-range version of Iran's domestically produced ALMAS missile family, which has been developed as an alternative to the Israeli Spike series of missiles. Iran has long pursued a strategy of reverse engineering and indigenous production to counter international sanctions and military isolation. The Almaz series, which includes the earlier Almaz 1, Almaz 2, and Almaz 3, was developed by cloning Israeli spike anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs. Alongside these, Iran has also produced the Badr missile, another spike-inspired system. The unveiling of the Almaz-4 suggests that Iran has now replicated the capabilities of the Spike NLOS, non-line-of-sight, variant, a long-range, multi-platform missile system designed for striking targets beyond visual range. What sets the Almaz-4 apart from its predecessors is its extended operational range and advanced targeting capabilities. Unlike conventional line-of-sight anti-tank missiles, NLOS systems enable operators to engage targets that are beyond their direct visual field. This feature significantly enhances battlefield flexibility, particularly in environments where targets are concealed by obstacles such as buildings, forests, or terrain features. For comparison, the Israeli Spike NLOS, developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, boasts a range of 50 kilometers when launched from helicopters and 32 kilometers from ground platforms. Although Iran has not officially disclosed the range of ALMAS-4, reports indicate that it may reach 25 to 35 kilometers, positioning it as a serious threat to armored units and high-value military assets. The Almaz-4 significantly enhances Iran's anti-armor capability, allowing strikes on distant enemy positions without direct line-of-sight engagement. Like modern ATGMs, the Almaz series employs a top attack flight profile, targeting the weaker upper armor of enemy tanks and armored vehicles for maximum penetration. While details remain scarce, the Almaz-4 the of may be designed for vehicle-mounted or aerial deployment, similar to its Israeli counterpart. However, no dedicated manned portable ground platform has been demonstrated. The missile likely utilizes electro-optical and infrared seekers to track and engage targets autonomously or via operator guidance. The development of the Almaz-4 NLOS missile underscores Iran's increasing self-reliance in precision strike weaponry. Given the rising tensions in the Middle East, the Almaz-4 could play a significant role in Iran's defensive and offensive military doctrine, allowing it to target high-value enemy assets from safe distances. Furthermore, Iran may seek to export the Almaz-4 to allied groups or partner nations, similar to how it has supplied previous missile systems to regional proxy forces. This could alter the military balance in asymmetric conflicts, as non-state actors gain access to advanced standoff strike capabilities. The unveiling of Almaz-4 NLOS marks a significant milestone in Iran's defense industry. By successfully replicating and enhancing the Spike NLOS concept, Iran has reinforced its ability to produce long-range, precision-guided munitions despite economic sanctions. While it remains unclear whether the Almaz-4 matches the full capability of its Israeli counterpart, its existence alone represents a growing challenge for armored warfare in the region.